Well, let's get started. Got a little stock of hickory there. Some little chip for the smoke pot. Get the, the smoke pot out. Hey, you will, we'll take that, um, take that little bit there and burn it, you know. Okay, we'll put the lid on the smoke pot. If I can lift it one-handed, we'll set her up in the hole. Come on, come on, pot. Get up in there. All right, let's see what we got. We got some pieces in the bag, some whole, whole bark. Put that charcoal up in there. See the little pieces we got out of the smoke pot. Put her in there, we fix the lighter and let her go. Okay, we've got her started. If she catches that hickory, I'll be catching pretty quick. It's good and dry, about three year old hickory. It's the last of it. We'll go in and prepare our meat. Okay, we're getting ready to uh, inject some flavor into this pork. We have some li concentrated liquid smoke. Some Cajun salt, some apple juice concentrate, some brown sugar. We're going to take about a tablespoon of this, about two tablespoons of that probably. Take this can, put it in there, mix it all up, and then we'll inject it into the meat. Ah, jeez, I, I hate to give away this ancient family recipe. Been in my family since... Well, 8 o'clock this morning. But I was up at Claiborne County, up at Harrogate, up visiting some people at Lincoln Memorial University, and I ran into a guy. We went to visit the old tea room there in Cumberland Gap. He told me his brother had seen one of my barbecue videos and uh, made a comment about it so I thought well they would be just as good a day as any to do a couple of butts and show a couple of variations I guess it was my turkeys he must have seen this cheating a little bit using liquid smoke inside Cajun salt Concentrated apple juice. And we just continue and inject it up just like this all around. I tend to leave it in the bag till I get outside. Just about like that. And we've just added our little pan of water. You can use apple juice, wine, beer, whatever you want. Just something to turn the steam, keep the inside environment a little moist. We'll lower the rack. Clean her off. And we'll about ready to bring her out. Alright, I split a little bit of, just a tiny little bit of apple. So well, I'll put that in there, but I believe, I believe the temperature's coming up just fine. It's about time we put our meat on. Well, we just got them on. That's what they look like, just getting started. Pan's got plenty of water. We got plenty, plenty of fire in the firebox. Now we'll check it in about 30 minutes. Alright, let's go up and check it out. See how it's doing parts of the way through. We're, we're just about ideal on the temperature. I'm seeing a tremendous amount of smoke come out. I'm gonna get some cedar trees. We're getting some. Well, what do you think? That's such a terrible sound, isn't it? That shh. Yeah, that 
say. Mmm. I guess I need to put me some more. Well, our hickory burned down to nothing. I'm fixing to dump it in the bottom and reload it with some fresh chips. When you quit smoking, or almost quit smoking, see, we're down to just what smokes comes off of the wood in the bottom. We can do better than that. We'll really reload that smoke pot, and she'll be going good again. Now we're reloaded. What do you think the meat's looking like? Probably time I flipped it. Well, the smoke pot is working. Got to restoke. You see that color of that smoke is kind of a bluish gray. That was hickory I put in there, and hickory burns a little bit of a blue gray. Apple I got a little bit of apple in there, but if you if you ever notice next time you smoke something, if you mix your woods, you can tell you can tell when hickory burns. It does burn a slightly different color. Well, there we go. I think I'm going to take me a little bit of a break. Just went into town, had to get uh, cabbage to make the slaw. Got it made. While I was in there, run across some peanuts. Thought I ain't had boiled peanuts in a while. Got them boiling in yonder. So now it's time for a little relaxation. And that's been just the littlest bit. I thought I'd look in and check in on it. What do you think? I can keep that smoke out of the end. Maybe I can get up a little bit. Ooh. What does that look like to you? And that's about where she smokes the best. Now, let's see, is this coming up? Yeah, that's coming up on it. Now, see how that smoke pot works? Yep, right about that, that blue and red line is where that smoke pot will just flat burn off the smoke. Well, I think you're pretty close to being done. A pinch, ooh, it's hot. Pinch off a little more of that little corner. Can you see the camera getting that? Oh, it's, it's terrible. That's just, I mean, that's pitiful. I don't know if we got enough sunshine on that or not. Put it right there. Flake that off. Ooh, ooh. I don't think that's fit for human consumption. Got all that smoke all over the top of it. That can't be good. Well, I guess I'll rotate it one more time. Yep. All right. Take them out. Take a look at them port butt. I believe they're ready. Now that's the final stage, short of a bun of course, that we get. 